Hi, it's Lynn from Lynny C Designs. Thank you for joining me today. I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator based in West Sussex in the UK. And I'm coming on to share um, another version of this card. This was created for my card class at the beginning of the month. And it's another simple layout featuring some designer series paper. This is the stamp set I've used and it has some coordinating dies, perfect plants. And these, as well as cutting out some of the um, stamped images, they also cut out a, a little hanging basket. And I'll show you an example of a card that I made. Actually, it's my thank you card to my customers using the designer series paper. So the bloom where you're planted designer series paper. And actually the, the foliage in this pot, the pot was stamped and die cut, but this is actually fussy cut from the DSP. And it's amazing. So I, I'm just going to go on. I'm starting to waffle. So I will show you what I'm using this time round. This was garden green. But for my version today, I'm going to use a card base of Just Jade. That's half a sheet of A4 scored at 10 and a half centimetres. I have a piece for stamping. That's basic white. I've got a layer of basic white for the inside and that's cut just a little bit shorter on, on all sides so that it leaves a nice little border. I've already cut out one of the scalloped contour labels. Now I've showed you other cards featuring these dies and I'll put links up here somewhere. I've got a layer of evening evergreen and that fits in quite nicely there i will leave measurements over on my blog rather than bother you now and as i said that is from the bloom where you're planted designer series paper and just fits in very nicely so i'm going to be stamping let's put those away that's the inside that's my stamping sheet and i'm going to stamp the sentiment in here and the colours I'm using, Cinnamon Cider, Just Jade, Evening Evergreen and Garden Green and then I've got some linen thread just to tie around the pot. So let me stamp the sentiment and this is really lovely, it's a great mix of fonts, a little note with the biggest of thanks. I'm going to pop this down in the corner. I'm actually going to enter this card for this week's challenge over at the Global Design Project and it's a sketch challenge and I thought this worked quite well with the sketch. This is the pot and I'm going to stamp that there and these are distinctive stamps so they actually um, give you shading which I think is absolutely fantastic and although you'll notice that this is stained from the ink it doesn't um, damage the stamps at all or impair the quality of the stamped image. I'm also going to stamp a little pot in the corner here for the inside. Fabulous. And then I'm going to I'm going to use I'm going to do several of these. That's garden green. So we're going to stamp that in just jade, which matches the card base. And then there's a slightly bigger sprig. And again, I'm going to do two of those. That is garden green. 
my golden green needs to be inking. And I'm going to do another one in the evening evergreen. It's quite a juicy stamp. You can see the different greens and I think that will make a really nice, really nice little stamped floral or foliage. And then I'm going to do one more bit of stamping. I'm going to use garden green. I quite like the faded look of that. I'm going to try and line that up without getting my head in the shot because you don't need to see my frizzy hair. That's lovely. I like that. So that's the inside. And that's the stamping gun. So I'm going to go away and die cut these and I will be back. So there we are. I'm back with those and let's get ready with them. Let's just put it together. So I'm going to use my liquid glue. Nice little frame, that ever evening evergreen just gives a nice frame behind it. Stick that on the inside. And then we can rearrange the foliage for the pot. I'll put that on there the right way up. So I'm going to just quickly give that little bit of a curve. And that's going to go really nicely there. So I'm going, but before I stick that on, so I've got my bit of linen thread. Hmm. Seagulls are noisy today. I was at my cousin's wedding yesterday, which was just so lovely. She looked so beautiful. I was very bad at taking pictures. Um, we got married in Arundel, which isn't far, far from here. And um, I'd never been to the town hall before, even though we've always lived here. Um, and it was really beautiful. It was a fantastic day, sunshine. Fabulous views over Arundel. There we go. Made a bit of a meal out of that, but there we are. Now I'm going to hold that in place with some dimensional. Now I'm using up the edge of my dimensionals. Never waste any. And I'm going to pop that towards the bottom but across there. Just that to hold that thread in place. Not that it's really going to go anywhere. I'm going to pop that down there. And then we need to arrange our foliage. Oops, I think. No, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to snip those two apart. Let's just trim that down so that it doesn't look awful. So 
There we go. So I'm going to stick those at the back actually. And I want to have that that way round for a change. So a little bit of glue there. Of crossing over that's it lovely Stick in. Too much glue. And there we are. A little thank you card. To go with this one. Yeah, fabulous. And I promised to show you the card that I made as a thank you to my customers. It's a bridge fold card, which is lovely. So this folds flat to go into an envelope. Um, lots of fussy cutting and a bit of time and energy to do it. But you can see this is the this die here, a little macrame pot. Um, and these various, all of this was die cut so um thank you so much for watching i do appreciate it um click the links below to go to my shop if you're interested in buying any of the items that i've showed you today and i will be back next week with another project thanks and bye for now